Non-benzodiazepine, Wikipedia article audio Non-benzodiazepines sometimes referred to colloquially as Z-drugs are a class of psychoactive drugs that are very benzodiazepine-like in nature. Non-benzodiazepine pharmacodynamics are almost entirely the same as benzodiazepine drugs and therefore employ similar benefits, side effects, and risks. However, non-benzodiazepines have dissimilar or entirely different chemical structures and are therefore unrelated to benzodiazepines on a molecular level. Classes Pharmacology Background Pharmaceuticals Side effects Increased risk of depression Dependence and withdrawal management Carcinogenicity Elderly Controversy New compounds Currently, the major chemical classes of non-benzodiazepines are Imidazapyridines Pyrosolipyrimidines Cyclopyrolonase Beta-carbolines Others The non-benzodiazepines are positive allosteric modulators of the GABAA receptor. Like the benzodiazepines, they exert their effects by binding to and activating the benzodiazepine site of the receptor complex. Many of these compounds are subtype selective providing novel anxiolytics with little to no hypnotic and amnesiac effects and novel hypnotics with little or no anxiolytic effects. Non-benzodiazepines have demonstrated efficacy in treating sleep disorders. There is some limited evidence that suggests that tolerance to non-benzodiazepines is slower to develop than with benzodiazepines. However, data is limited so no conclusions can be drawn. Data is also limited into the long-term effects of non-benzodiazepines. Further research into the safety of non-benzodiazepines and long-term effectiveness of non-benzodiazepines has been recommended in a review of the literature. Some differences exist between the Z-drugs. For example tolerance and rebound effects may not occur with Zolplon. The first three non-benzodiazepine drugs to enter the market were the Z-drugs, Zopiclone, Zolpetum and Zolplon. These three drugs are all sedatives used exclusively for the treatment of mild insomnia. They are safer than the older barbiturates especially in overdosage and they may when compared to the benzodiazepines, have less of a tendency to induce physical dependence and addiction, although these issues can still become a problem. This has led to the Z-drugs becoming widely prescribed for the treatment of insomnia particularly in elderly patients. A little under a third of all Americans over 65 years of age are taking Z-drugs. Long-term use is not recommended as tolerance and addiction can occur. A survey of patients using non-benzodiazepine Z drugs and benzodiazepine hypnotic users found that there was no difference in reports of adverse effects that were reported in over 41% of users and, in fact, Z drug users were more likely to report that they had tried to quit their hypnotic drug and were more likely to want to stop taking Z drugs than benzodiazepine users. Efficacy also did not differ between benzodiazepine and Z drug users. The Z drugs are not without disadvantages, and all three compounds are notable for producing side effects such as pronounced amnesia and more rarely hallucinations especially when used in large doses. On rare occasions, these drugs can produce a fugue state, wherein the patient sleepwalks and may perform relatively complex actions, including cooking meals or driving cars, while effectively unconscious and with no recollection of the events upon awakening. While this effect is rare, it can be potentially hazardous, 
and so further development of this class of drugs has continued in an effort to find new compounds with further improved profiles. Daytime withdrawal related anxiety can also occur from chronic nightly non benzodiazepine hypnotic usage, such as with Zopi clone. Side effects can differ within the drug class due to differences in metabolism and pharmacology. For example, long acting benzodiazepines have problems of drug accumulation, especially in the elderly or those with liver disease and shorter-acting benzodiazepines have a higher risk of more severe withdrawal symptoms. In the case of the non-benzodiazepines, Zolplon may be the safest in terms of next-day sedation, and unlike Zolpidem and Zopi clone Zolplon has been found to have no association with increased motor vehicle accidents even when taken for middle-of-the-night insomnia due to its ultra-short elimination half-life. It has been claimed that insomnia causes depression and hypothesized that insomnia medications may help to treat depression. In support of this claim an analysis of data of clinical trials submitted to the Food and Drug Administration concerning the drugs Zolpidem, Zolplon, and Esopiclone found that these sedative hypnotic drugs more than doubled the risks of developing depression compared to those taking placebo pills. Hypnotic drugs, therefore, may be contraindicated in patients suffering from or at risk of depression. Hypnotics were found to be more likely to cause depression than to help it. Studies have found that long-term users of sedative hypnotic drugs have a markedly raised suicide risk as well as an overall increased mortality risk. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia on the other hand, has been found to both improve sleep quality as well as general mental health. Non-benzodiazepines should not be discontinued abruptly if taken for more than a few weeks due to the risk of rebound withdrawal effects and acute withdrawal reactions, which may resemble those seen during benzodiazepine withdrawal. Treatment usually entails gradually reducing the dosage over a period of weeks or several months depending on the individual, dosage, and length of time the drug has been taken. If this approach fails, a crossover to a benzodiazepine equivalent dose of a long-acting benzodiazepine can be tried followed by a gradual reduction in dosage. In extreme cases and, in particular, where severe addiction and slash or abuse is manifested, an inpatient detoxification may be required, with flumazenil as a possible detoxification tool. The Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine published a paper that had carried out a systematic review of the medical literature concerning insomnia medications and raised concerns about benzodiazepine receptor agonist drugs, the benzodiazepines, and the Z-drugs that are used as hypnotics in humans. The review found that almost all trials of sleep disorders and drugs are sponsored by the pharmaceutical industry. It was found that the odds ratio for finding results favorable to industry in industry-sponsored trials was 3.6 times higher than non-industry-sponsored studies and that 24% of authors did not disclose being funded by the drug companies in their published papers when they were funded by the drug companies. The paper found that there is little research into hypnotics that is independent from the drug manufacturers. Also of concern was the lack of focus in industry-sponsored trials on their own results showing that use of hypnotics is correlated with depression. The author was concerned that there is no discussion of adverse effects of benzodiazepine agonist hypnotics discussed in the medical literature such as significant increased levels of infection, cancers, and increased mortality in trials of hypnotic drugs and an overemphasis on the positive effects. No hypnotic manufacturer has yet tried to refute the epidemiology data that shows that use of their product is correlated with excess mortality. 
The author stated that major hypnotic trials is needed to more carefully study potential adverse effects of hypnotics such as daytime impairment, infection, cancer, and death and the resultant balance of benefits and risks. The author concluded that more independent research into daytime impairment, infection, cancer, and shortening of lives of sedative hypnotic users is needed to find the true balance of benefits and risks of benzodiazepine agonist hypnotic drugs in the treatment of insomnia. Significant increases in skin cancers and tumors are found in clinical trial data of the non-benzodiazepine hypnotics compared to trial subjects having taken placebo tablets. Other cancers of the brain, lung, bowel, breast, and bladder also occurred. An increase of infections, possibly due to decreased immune function, also occurred in the non-benzodiazepine users. It has been hypothesis that either depressed immune function or the viral infections themselves were the cause of the increased rates of cancer. Initially, the FDA was hesitant to approve some of the non-benzodiazepines due to concerns regarding increases in cancers. The author reported that, due to the fact that the FDA requires reporting of both favorable and unfavorable results of clinical trials, the FDA new drug application data is more reliable than the peer-reviewed literature, which is subject to serious bias regarding hypnotics. In 2008, the FDA analyzed their data again and confirmed an increased rate of cancers in the randomized trials compared to placebos but concluded that the rate of cancers did not warrant any regulatory action. Later studies on several common hypnotics found that receiving hypnotic prescriptions was associated with greater than threefold increased hazards of death even when prescribed 18 pills slash year and that hypnotics cause mortality through the growing U.S. overdose epidemic. Non-benzodiazepine hypnotic drugs, similar to benzodiazepines, cause impairments in body balance and standing steadiness upon waking falls and hip fractures are frequently reported. The combination with alcohol increases these impairments. Partial but incomplete tolerance develops to these impairments. In general, non-benzodiazepines are not recommended for older patients due to the increased risk of falls and fractures. An extensive review of the medical literature regarding the management of insomnia and the elderly found that there is considerable evidence of the effectiveness and lasting benefits of non-drug treatments for insomnia in adults of all age groups and that these interventions are underused. Compared with the benzodiazepines, the non-benzodiazepine sedative hypnotics offer little if any advantages in efficacy or tolerability in elderly persons. It was found that newer agents such as the melatonin agonists may be more suitable and effective for the management of chronic insomnia in elderly people. Long-term use of sedative hypnotics for insomnia lacks an evidence base and is discouraged for reasons that include concerns about such potential adverse drug effects as cognitive impairment, daytime sedation, motor incoordination, and increased risk of motor vehicle accidents and falls. In addition, the effectiveness and safety of long-term use of these agents remain to be determined. It was concluded that further research is needed to evaluate the long-term effects of treatment and the most appropriate management strategy for elderly persons with chronic insomnia. A review of the literature regarding hypnotics including the non-benzodiazepine Z drugs concluded that these drugs cause an unjustifiable risk to the individual and to public health and lack evidence of long-term effectiveness due to tolerance. The risks include dependence, accidents, and other adverse effects. Gradual discontinuation of hypnotics leads to improved health without worsening of sleep. It is preferred that they should be prescribed for only a few days at the lowest effective dose and avoided altogether wherever possible in the elderly. More recently, 
a range of non-sedating anxiolytic drugs derived from the same structural families as the Z drugs have been developed, such as Alpedum and Pogoclone, and approved for clinical prescription. Non-benzodiazepine drugs are much more selective than the older benzodiazepine anxiolytics, producing effective relief of anxiety-slash-panic with little or no sedation, enterograde amnesia, or anticonvulsant effects, and are thus potentially more precise than older, anti-anxiety drugs. However, Anxiolytic non-benzodiazepines are not widely prescribed and many have collapsed after initial clinical trials and consumption halted many projects, including but not limited to Alpedum, Indiplon, and Suriclone. Alpedum, Nicopidem, Saripidem, Zalpedem. Divaplon, Faciplon, Indiplon, Lordiplon, Osinaplon, Panadiplon, Tanaplon, Zalplon. Esopiclone, Pogoclone, Pazinoclone, Ciproclone, Suriclone, Zopiclone. Abicarnil, Gadocarnil, SL651,498, ZK93423. CGS20625. CGS 9896, CL 218,872, ELB 139, GBLD 345, L 838,417.